So Dimension is live and in this video I'll show you how you can stake it, how you can buy it, what wallets you need to use and what other airdrops you might qualify in the future. So quickly about Dimension, this is the power blockchain for different rollups and there's a ton of different protocols that are going to be using Dimension in the future. So quickly about the previous criteria, how could you qualify for that is essentially if you stake at least one TIA token, that was for Celestia stickers. We also had Ethereum L2, so if you use Arbitrum, Optimism Base or even Blast, if you did some decent volume, you probably got a certain amount of token as well. Cosmos staking, Solana active users, so if you use Wormhole, Tensor or Drip, or if you held any notable NFTs like Pudgy Penguins, Bad Kids, Mudlots or Tensorians. So about a month ago, Dimension announced the claim token, so you could have go to the official website, paste your wallet in there, and here based on your wallet that you use, like for example Solana, EVM wallet or any other criteria that you were eligible, you could have pasted your wallet and you will see how many tokens you will be airdropped. So now, how you can buy Dimension tokens if you didn't get the airdrop? So, one of these ways is of course you need to first, you need to have a MetaMask wallet or Kepler wallet. And once you have some tokens ready, you can, for example, in a Kepler wallet, you can perform a swap. You can swap it from, let's say, Atom um, to Dime or you can use any like Tia. So essentially you will go here. And you want to select the token that you want and for example you want to select one token to dime token it would take a long time to do it because rpc is fried at the moment so you might essentially wait quite a lot to receive your tokens especially during the first day when it dropped the another way is essentially you need to have a metamask account and if i open my account you can see that i have some already dime in this wallet around 72 dime tokens and if you want to get it you can go to any exchange like for example binance or kucoin and then you will need to send it to your wallet that you use like for example metamask or kepler wallet so now if you want to stake your tokens first you'll need to go to a website called portal.dimension.xyz and here you will need to connect your wallet so let's say i want to disconnect and then i will connect one of my wallets so for example you can use metamask kepler leap this is the another wallet for tia cosmos ecosystem all the stuff or trust and so in this case, I'm going to select MetaMask. And once you have that, you will see your balances there. You can see your staked amount, unstaked amount, and also the claimable rewards that you're going to earn over time. So in here, we have all validators that you can use. And we need to take a look at some certain metrics that are really important to me. So one of these metrics, you need to select something that is not that centralized, let's say, because you can see a ton of is being staked in the first pool. And it's not that efficient to us because you can see the commission is also really high. 10%, I wouldn't recommend you guys to go for 10%. Ideally, you want to go for 5%. The another important metric is you want to select a validator that doesn't belong to any exchanges like Coinbase, for example. So for example, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select and stake something for Parcelios and it's because the MCAT also recommend this one. But to stake a larger amount, I'm going to wait for stake Cedos. And if you don't know who is stake Cedo, and he's a validator across a lot of different Cosmos projects like Atom, Injective, Osmo, Tia, Nier, Say, DYDX, and so on. So he's a pretty much on top of everything. So I'm going to trust him and I'm going to stake some of my Dime with him. So as he said, they are going to be launching the Dime pool by the end of the day. So we still have a couple more hours and there's no rush. You can just wait and stake your tokens later on. So now if you want to stake it, you want to click on the stake button and then you want to select the amount of token that you want to stake. So let's say we want to stake only like five tokens. So if when you click on stake, your metamask is gonna pop up and you'll need to just sign it and then the second pop-up is to sign another transaction so as you can see the rpc are under heavy load the transaction might be a slower so it might take a while so do not cancel it let it run do not try to cancel it and make another transaction because this transaction will go through eventually and when you're gonna send another transaction the another transaction will take a while as well so both of your transactions will go through. So now, why would you stake Dime? So in this tweet, you can see the airdrop potential, the staking potential from different infrastructures. Like for example, you have Tia. If you stake, you got Manta, Dime, Alt Layer. If you stake Sol, you get Gito, Pipe, Jupiter, and so on. So now, some of these tokens that you can receive by staking Dime is, for example, you have the potential to receive Wormhole, which is one of these massive projects that are using the Dimension technology. So you can see they are in the partnership, and the another one that you might qualify for in the near future is Avo. So also, there is going to be a ton of different projects that you're not even aware of that you might qualify for. And if you look at the main Dimension dashboard, it's pretty clean, so you can see all of these uh, data that you need. And you can see, you can swap between the metrics and, and staking. And if you click on the roll-up tab, you're going to see all of these different roll-ups that are going to be launching on Dimension soon. So right now you don't see anything, but when a claim was live, we had a ton of different applications that were not deployed yet. So these dApps, they want to get the good holders. So if you contribute to Dimension Network, if you stake for a certain period of time, 
the amount of token that you stake will matter to receive a certain airdrop from the Dimension ecosystem. So that's why I think this is super powerful and the Celestia playbook might take a place in this example. Of course, we might see a dump at first, but it started at $5, so now we're going to have a correction. I'm, I'm, I don't know where this is going in the short term, but in the long run, this has a really nice chance to perform really well. It might be similar to Tia, so we're going to find out in the near future. And if you want to catch all of these projects that are coming from the staking, you can use platform called airdrops.1. And in here, you can find, for example, the chain, uh, what is this? the claim date and the essentially the criteria what tokens you need to stake to receive them and by doing that you don't need to for example follow a thousand different projects on twitter you can just go to this website and see what tokens you might be qualified for so that's pretty much it guys and if you enjoyed this video follow me on twitter because this is where i will update you with the alpha and subscribe to my youtube channel hit the thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one